G'day guys, welcome back. I've got a couple of new things that I want to try today with the blooms. Because you know how I used to have that wire uh, cake cooling rack and then I had to keep turning it and oh, it was a pain. So I got some of these. Aren't they cute? They come in all different sizes. So it's a little cake stand, I guess. Um, I do have a bigger one, but I wanted something that I can sit either a tile or a canvas panel in this case. This is a pack of two in here. Um, I bought a heap of these, so hopefully they won't warp. Cross fingers, hope against hope that they don't warp. 20 centimeter square or eight inch square. So there's, that's a, a two pack. Um, they're really actually quite good because you can write on the back here, you know, what you did, maybe what medium you used, ratios, um, something to remember what you've done, I guess. Um, I did open a pack, so I've got this one here ready to go. Um, and I think it would just be really nice when I'm, you know, blowing. I don't have to pick up the whole cookie cooling rack. I can just spin it. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And I've got, I'm going to do pink and turquoise today just to see how that goes. And I've got my white cell activator. I'm using all Joe Sonia's paints. Uh, so this one here is basically the aqua, mostly aqua with a little squirt of um, aquamarine blue. That makes this lovely turquoise color. And that one is magenta. And then this one here, the dark one, it's half phthalo blue, half phthalo green, also in uh, Joe Sonia's. Um, I went out and bought some more pillow paint. They had the six litre on special at Bunnings. Um, so I've poured them into these one litre bottles. It's much easier to handle than trying to pour out of a six litre tin. Um, I think it was $67 for six litres. So normally only get four liters for about sixty dollars so yeah it was it was cheaper anyway enough of me chatting let's get on to it so i've made up i have got quite a lot of colors here um and i just use these little nozzle bottles i did put a photo of uh, where i got them from actually on my facebook group page pouring your heart out with julie so if anyone wants to see them um what they look like that's on my page i just got them from amazon Okay, let's pour out a nice big puddle of white. So what I like to do is pour it on and then kind of stretch it out a little bit. It doesn't have to go all the way over to the corners because you don't want to make too much of a mess at this stage. So just spread it out back into the middle. So I've got that there. Look at that. Look at that. Woohoo! And then now that it's all kind of spread, just do another little puddle in the middle. That's for when you put your paint on. That's what I like to do anyway. And I'm gonna start with the dark. Little puddle. And then I'm gonna go some of the pink around there. So you don't have to do an exact puddle. I really don't think you do. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more pink just there and see all the dark teal is hidden now kind of underneath so I want to put a little bit there and that should be enough paint because so we want to stretch it out don't we oops I already closed my little nozzle Put another blob in the middle so you can just do a puddle on top of a puddle if you want to or you can be a little bit more creative and uh, you know do different areas of color so that you do get like a different look and then the white now the white is Floetrol and Amsterdam titanium white this one is a mix uh, two and a half times Floetrol to one part paint um, it was three to one but I found that it was a little bit thin and it was uh, sinking that's sinking a little bit as well so let's hurry up straight down into the white and out over the top of the other colors oh I'm turning it straight down into the white push it out with your little blower 
straight down, push it out. We've got to get pretty close. Straight down, push it out over the top. Oh, I'm loving this. My little cake turning wheel. Just got to be really careful you don't put your little nozzle straight into the paint. That's just my little barbecue fan. I've shown you this before. It's all dirty now, but I love it. Okay, so now we have to wait. I can see there's a dip in the middle. So we'll just wait for a minute. And I might tell you about, what can I tell you about? Oh, that's my Amsterdam titanium white, which I'm pretty much out of now. Um, and this is, this is my, what I mix, I use for my pouring medium. It's the British Paints Clean and Protect Wall Low Sheen Interior. Now this is not a coloured paint. It's an untinted paint. It says extra bright on the side there. So I mix that with uh, Josonia's Gloss Varnish and also Polycrylic. Um, I'm I think I've got my ratios right now. I've still been playing with them a little bit, but that's what I've been doing um, for my pouring medium. And then I mix my pouring medium, two parts pouring medium to one part of the, um, the Joe Sonia's paints. And that's what's in these little squeeze bottles. Easy peasy, eh? And then as I said, two parts, well two and a half times uh, Floetrol to one part of the titanium white the cell activator. The pillow paint is just a white um, interior wall paint, low sheen. Now, what we need to do is we need to move our little, I love spinning it, woohoo, move him out of the way. <clears throat> and try not to put any paint right there because then when I put him back to do the next one, I'm gonna get covered in paint. So, now I don't know if you can see this or not, but you have to do little movements like this until the middle lets go still stuck there's no point stretching it if your middle's still stuck because the middle will get all out of shape because it stays there so it's going to get all elongated so little movements like this back and forth up and down until the middle is moving with the rest of the paint see how it's moving now Hopefully you can see that it's moving with the rest of the paint. So now that it's done that, it's let go because it was kind of almost touching the, the canvas panel. We can start tilting and you can just help that paint over the white, uh, over the white. You can help the white paint over the corner. You don't have to go over your, your corners. I personally like some negative space and I like to see these stripes of color because they're really pretty. So you've got turquoise and pink and teal. I like to see those, but that's just me. If you want to tip the whole thing over and not see any white, then you can do that by all means. Back to the middle, bring the weight of the paint back to the middle and then you can change direction. We'll go over to this corner here. So we'll just have to put a finger into the white paint there, I'm afraid, but. We can touch that up later if we need to. And you can decide where you want your paint to go off and how much you want it to go off. So you don't want to lose too much in the way of lacing, so <clears throat> might not take too much of it off. Now, back to the middle again. It takes a little while, you have to be patient. And it's a good idea to come back to the middle each time so that you don't elongate your, your cells or your lacing. You want to try and keep the shape. So you do need to come back to the centre each time. See, this one's starting to go a bit wonky. Because he went over there and then he came back again. Oops. But that's just part of it. This one's really pretty here with the, the darker teal. 
but he'll he'll kind of you can make him grab over the edge here and widen him out a little bit if you want to okay I want to keep that lacing there so I'm not going to go all the way over that corner oh it's hard to pick them up all right back to the middle again this is looking so pretty love pinks and teals together they're so pretty aren't they I hope you can see I haven't got my little marks on the <laughs> on the pedal pad so I don't know but because I'm holding it up it doesn't really help the the lines on the pedal pad don't really help when I'm holding it up like this just hoping you can still see you can see how long it takes it's thick if it's too thin your design is just going to go all out of shape and overstretch so it does need to be thick you end up holding it pretty much vertical at some stages looks like there might be something in the middle there I'm not sure it's kind of caught there might be a little blob of something in the middle okay now back to the center this is where you can play around with your design I just like to recenter everything again so that white is looking pretty good that's the two and a half to one uh, I was using three to one but my white it just kind of sunk into the puddles and then the white lacing wasn't as noticeable it kind of just blended I guess in with the other colors so that's why I've thickened it up just a tad a tad now where your fingers have been on the corners there pick up some white paint and just fix your corners okay don't use a bit of paint that's got other colors in it just Try and pick up some clean paint and pop it on the corners. Mm, what do I want to do with that? I'll bring it down just a little bit more. I don't think it's going to flow anymore actually. It's kind of stopped. Pick up my little... <laughs> I didn't want to put him into a mess. Oh well, he's not going to stay clean for very long is he? him on there all right Woohoo! so uh, now it's going to take a little while to dry <clears throat> a day or two really so I'm not going to know what's going to happen with the canvas panel for a couple of days but I will show you hopefully hopefully it's not going to warp because I've got 70 of these so these don't warp all right let me take it down like those colors I'm happy that I haven't lost all that dark teal because when I did a little practice one <clears throat> I lost a lot of the the darker teal oh it looks blue through here it's not it's teal but it looks it looks to um, blue through my screen I'll put a photo of it up anyway with the video but uh, yeah from what I'm looking at this looks more of a navy but it ain't Look at that lacing, just magical. And as I said, I do like the negative space. I've done some where I haven't got any white, but I think if you're going to have some white, you need to do it a few times. It doesn't have to be every single corner, but um, I think you do need to have some white. So you've got two bits of white there. Um, it's just what I like. It's by all means not the the right way it's just what I like um, 
A couple of little practice ones that I did earlier today. This one I put more paint on so there's not as much white. It's only really got uh, that corner and that corner. And I put an aqua in there as well as the teal and two shades of magenta. So it's a little bit different. Uh, this was the first one that I did, also really pretty. Um, we've got one, two, three white corners. So you can do that as well. They don't have to be all, all white, do they? So there we go. I do like this one. That was just puddles though. That wasn't a sort of more artistically placed. This one was more artistically placed and you can see there's different colors here and there and they're all kind of blended. That's because I strategically positioned my paints. They weren't all just on top of each other. All right, um, and then back to that one. This, it is pretty. Love it. All right, I'll leave it at that. Um, and I will tell you in a couple of days if they've survived or not. Let's hope they have. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.